begin this afternoon with a story of community and resilience. After their historic building was ravaged in a fire on Friday, this Easter Sunday, the people of an Inglewood church sure found an angel they were able to celebrate this morning thanks to a neighbor who gave them a special gift. CBS 2's Chardé Gray explains the rather surprising location for the morning's Easter service. The resilience of parishioners of Antioch Missionary Baptist Church in Inglewood and as long as he's still living, we gotta keep going. Amplified this Easter Sunday morning. Lord, we thank you, Lord, for what you're doing in Antioch. We are Antioch strong this morning and standing on your word. Lord. Antioch Missionary Baptist Church members are looking to the future after their historic church went up in flames on Good Friday, a church that got its start in 1925 and relocated in the Inglewood neighborhood in 1958. Well, our faith tells us that joy comes in the morning. You know, we did weep on Friday and we wept last night, uh, but joy came this morning. And Lead pastor Gerald Dew compared the resurrection of Jesus Christ to the devastation they endured. Hopes were dashed on that side. These are the emotions that we are so familiar with because we just experienced an awful fire. Lonnie Miles, who's been a church member for 70 years, attended today's service at Callahan Funeral Home. They stepped in to host the service after the roof collapsed. It's just a building, a building you can rebuild. That's exactly what they plan to do, rebuild. We also are now challenged to build Antioch. Yeah. Reverend Jesse Jackson says he attended today's service to show his support. I probably want to raise ten thousand dollars for the church by next Sunday because people in England would have benefited from this church down through the years. Pastor Dew says he's excited for the future of Antioch. A new beginning, new life, new hope, new excitement. And that was our Chardé Gray reporting. We asked Pastor Dew what's next and where next Sunday's service will be held. He says that's still up in the air. The first priority was having this Easter Sunday service.